Hey everybody, Chris Coyer here from CodePen. I want to talk to you about LiveView. It's a pro feature on CodePen. You kind of unlock it when you upgrade to pro. Uh, and here's a little preview of what it does. You know, you write code in one place and then it allows you to look at that same code in lots of different browsers and devices and versions and whatever uh, really quickly and instantly. But I'd like to like look at it like a real world situation. Like why would I do this? Well, for one thing, okay, let's say we're going to prototype some like cool text effects or something, a text effect. Uh, we're going to do like, we'll just put it on like a dark background just because that's the look we're going for, whatever. We need some text. So like the it's you bitsy spider went up the water spout or whatever. Okay, we have some text to work with here and we're going for this gradient text look. So we'll be like, okay, this H1 tag, it's going to have this look to it and we're going to customize it and play with it. Let's say it's like uh, instead of that uh, top to bottom gradient, we'll say it's to the right and it's like orange to red. And it's got this look kind of like we played around with on the current CSS Tricks redesign. But anyway, that's kind of cool. And it's specifically scoped to some, you know, WebKit properties here so that, you know, the, but the color is still set to white. So if the browser doesn't understand all this, it's generally okay. But that's the point here. We're playing around. We want to play around with different browsers and stuff. For one thing, we could just look in live view now. And so it's one of the views, you know, I could like click on this to open it up as a new tab. And we're just looking at the output there. There's a bit of a shortcut to it. This little button down here uh, pops it open in live view, but it also maximizes um, the editors too. So one of the ways that people like to work is like, I want as much room as possible over here. Uh, uh, and I, but I, you know, and then I want to also have as much room as possible and more flexibility and freedom to put the preview wherever I want. So I could say purple here and it's going to be updating over here in live view at the same time. It's just like the preview down here. It's just kind of split off into a different window. And I'm sure you can see where I'm going with that. I can use that URL that's over here in different browsers and stuff as I want to. So that's kind of cool. Let's say we are going to like, you know, limit the width of the body to limit how wide this thing can go. Let's see. I probably don't even need that giant font size. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Go... Well, maybe that's the default size, huh? Uh, max width of like 400 pixels or something. Let's hit save. Oh, there we go. So it's kind of like has split down onto two lines, just giving ourselves a little bit uh, more room here. And then let's, but let's like, now we, this is our opportunity to look in different browsers. So let me grab this thing and like open it in Safari. As a matter of fact, I think, you know, one tempting way to just try something in different browsers, is just grab the pen URL and start kind of playing around in here, you know, be like, oh, I, I see what's going on here. Oh, I, I want this look to be a little different. I want the, you know, to uh, to be an inline element so it doesn't fill the space over here. So I'll go display inline or something. Uh, and have a look. Oh, gosh, I've ruined it in Safari now. That's weird. But I'm also not logged in over here. So, like, that's a little weird. I can't really save this. Otherwise, I'm saving it anonymously or forking it or something. Sometimes it's nice. Now, if you're pro, you can open collab mode and do it that way. That's a nice way to do it. But sometimes it's nice to just, like, eh, forget about dealing with the code open in two places at the same time. I'm just going to copy this live view URL, open Safari, paste it in that way. There we go. And now I can play with just the code editor open in one place. So display in line, display in line, because we need that effect for some reason. And we're kind of seeing, oh, it works in Chrome the kind of the way we want it to, but totally fails in Safari because it's not cl cloning correctly or something. And now we're trying to fix it. So it'd be like, oh, I think there is a thing like WebKit box decoration break clone which has some unique properties, but that, let's see, that, oh, that kind of fixes it and it makes it consistent in both. So we've kind of solved our cross-browser problem by looking at the output in multiple browsers at the same time, uh, which is pretty neat. And we're not kind of limited to those three or, or two or anything. We could open it on our phone, our real phone, or a simulator, or in a tool like cross-browser testing or whatever um, to play with this. Let's look in IE 11. I'm almost scared to do that. <laughs> It's not going to work well, I'm sure. Maybe it will. I don't know. But probably not. 
Uh, and this is just some service that allows us to do this kind of thing. Oh, look, it's it's got kind of a cool look to it. That might be an acceptable fallback. I'm kind of down with that look. But even this is kind of live updating. So if we move this back to pink or something, we're going to see that reflected here in IE11 and in Safari and in Chrome all at the same time. I could have it open on my phone as well, all that kind of stuff. That's what I have in this, uh, in this video for live view that I shot years ago because this is... It's actually improved a lot, the speed of it and reliability of it and all that over the years. But it's the same essential feature as we've had for a couple of years. And I got out like every device I owned and set them up at my desk here and kind of played with that. So here I am like typing in pink instead of red and it's you know, going to instantly goes across all those devices. It's kind of like the foundation for a device lab uh, should you want it to. So that's 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 live view. Uh, on CodePen. Pretty useful that way. Now, how, you know, just as a one little more bonus feature of how this works, when you say share and then you like type in your phone number to send it, that, that's a quick way so you don't have to like open up the browser on your phone and like type in a long URL. You can just text the URL to yourself by putting your phone number in here. If you're pro, it's just going to send the live view one over because it's the most useful view uh, in that world. So, that's kind of nice too. It's really easy to 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 pop the URLs over to different devices, and certainly just copy and paste on desktop works great. And it's really nice for solving cross browser issues. Okay, thanks everybody. Let us know if you have any questions. Bye bye.